What's up, guys? It's Alex and Kip. Yes, good boy. Good. Did you get one? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. <laughs> good. And today we are going to be cleaning off geodes and crystals with acid. Okay, so a few weeks ago, Kip and I got to go up to the Pryor Mountains with Katie Did and Theo Kellison, where we dug and found some awesome geodes and crystals and Bear Canyon agates. It was an awesome adventure, and if you haven't seen it yet, there's gonna be a link down below and also right up here in the corner. So, we know that there's some cool stuff going on in those rocks. However, most of them are covered in this very fine, silty type material um, that's fairly difficult to remove with like a brush or a toothbrush or anything like that. So, the best way to do that is with acid. And today we're gonna use something called muriatic acid, which is basically a type of hydrochloric acid. We're gonna soak the rocks in there. It's gonna clean off all of that scum and we're gonna get a much better idea of what these rocks actually look like underneath that material. Now, before I go show you the setup that we're gonna be using today, I just wanted to go over a couple things. First thing, at the very end of today's video, I've got kind of a surprise for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen it. And I also teased a little post on YouTube not too long ago. But make sure you stick around to the end so you can actually see what I got for the channel. I'm pretty stoked about this. The second thing is, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit that thumbs up button as well. And basically what that does is it shares the video with all the other rock counters out there and helps it get found. So let's go take a look at the setup that we're gonna be using today. All right, there's Kip. And here is our rock cleaning station. So um, let me just show you the material here so you can remember. Um, these are the Bear Canyon agates slash geodes. You can see there's some really interesting like druzy quartz going on in there. Um, but they're covered in this material on the outside. Um, and I'm not sure what that is exactly but I know that it will come off when we soak it in the muriatic acid and you can see we've got lots of these to clean off so this is gonna take me a while we're not just gonna get them all done today before we get started let's go over some safety information okay here is our muriatic acid um, you can see that it is dangerous <laughs> but we got the user-friendly muriatic acid which uh, apparently through some sort of chemical composition makes it less likely to burn your skin. Um, basically, if you're gonna work with this stuff to clean rocks, uh, there's a few things you really wanna keep in mind. First thing is um, eye protection, preferably goggles. Um, this, this will work, but you really wanna protect your eyes. Some sort of lung or respiratory protection. Um, it does put off gas, so you wanna make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. And then skin protection. So I'm using gloves, I'm gonna put pants on, and long sleeves. If you get any of this stuff on your clothes, you wanna immediately take those off and get yourself soaking in some water. And I do have a water bath right here, um, mostly for the rocks, but if something were to happen, we could put an arm or a hand in there really quick to get things neutralized. And then I have some baking soda here. After we're done, we can neutralize that acid. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and we'll get so started. We got our muriatic acid in here and I'm gonna put in the first of our agates. about to pull the first batch out of the acid bath here. Just wanted to show you guys that I've got plenty more here to go in. So hopefully we get some cool stuff out of these once they're all cleaned up. All right, my, my voice might sound a little bit muffled because I've got 
a mask on, what we're going to do is we're going to pull these out, put them straight into the water bath, right there, and just let them hang out in there for a while, and we'll check them out once we know they're nice and safe. You can already tell that these are way cleaner. Okay, and while we're at it, let's put the next batch in. Boom, look at that. <laughs> Crazy. It takes me back to my organic chemistry days. This is a kind of a cool one with some quartz crystals on there. Acid is just eating this stuff up, which is the entire point. We'll find one more good one here to put in. on these here in 20 minutes or so. Alright, we're going to pull another batch out here and get it in the water bath. You can see some of them still have a little bit of a residual crust on them, and I think what we're probably going to have to do with those is just um, hit them with a little metal brush or kind of scrape some of that stuff stuff off, but man, they're cleaning up really nice. I'm excited to uh, kind of neutralize the acid and see how things look. All right, guys, so we're finally done. It was a long day of going out every 30 or 40 minutes or so and changing out the agates, putting them in, taking them out, letting them soak in the water. Um, I finally got enough done that I feel like I could show you some. Um, I feel like overall the results are pretty good. The big reveal is going to be cutting some of these ones open. The nice thing is that by using the acid to clean them off, I've got a much better idea of like where I would want to cut or which ones I would just want to leave alone. So I'll go show you those right now. Let's go take a look at them. All right, so here are the Bear Canyon agates cleaned off. I'll just give you some close-ups here. This one, you know, you can see it's mostly quartz crystals on the inside here. Um, but before this was just totally covered in that material. However, you can see on the back side, a lot of that material remained. And I think that's just because it was so thick that I would have had to leave it in there for a really, really long time in order to get that off. Uh, this one cleaned up really nicely. I mean, it's got some beautiful druzy quartz in there. Um, and you can see it cleaned up really well on the back side as well. Um, so that one's absolutely beautiful and I'm very pleased. And you can still see some of the stuff's just crumbling off. Um, where's some other good ones here? So check this guy out. Beautiful Druzy Quartz. And then on the back side here, you can see some of those agate fortifications. And these be kind of polished up. Um, but they're there. I don't know if I get a good angle for you. Um, so this will be one to cut for sure. Let's see here. Here's another really pretty piece with some druzy quartz in there. And again, you can still see there's some small clumps left on there, but for the most part, um, the vast majority of this stuff came off. Here's another beautiful piece 
with some druzy quartz all the way back in there. It's got a very distinctive white and black color to it. And again, you can see that there's still some of that material on the outside, um, but far less than we started with. And over here, some cool little crystals in there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're really pretty. More sort of quartz crystals. Really interesting, intricate stuff. And you can see here on the back, see this is like a perfect example. This stuff just like could totally peel off. So it just needs more work. Um, and I probably would alter the amount of time that I did it for in the future. But we'll keep taking a look at some of these. I think they turned out really, really well overall. Just beautiful. And I'll probably stop talking now and just let you guys check them out. Look at that red. Whew. Amazing. So I think that's gonna do it as far as the rocks goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's totally a little bit of a different sort of thing for the channel, um, kind of a more behind the scenes sort of thing, but leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, that way I know that you guys are interested in content like this in the future. Now I did promise one little surprise at the end here. All right, so here we have Kip showing off the newest addition to the Agate Angler fleet. So we have ourselves an Old Town Vapor 10 kayak that we picked up last week here in Billings at one of our local sporting goods stores. Um, it's a really cool one person kayak. It's kind of like entry level, but it's got a really comfortable seat. I was able to take it out once. Um, some storage areas here in the back. Pretty easy to mount up on the car. It's nice that it has these uh, little leg rests and here's a little gizmo for adjusting the seat. And it's got some little um, like leg rest things that you can adjust on the inside. So I'm really excited about this because it's totally gonna increase our stream access on the Yellowstone River. All of those places on the other side of the bank that I couldn't get to before because the Yellowstone River is a big river, all of a sudden, now I can get to those. Um, and so I think I'm really, really excited about the agate hunting possibilities on the Yellowstone River this summer because of this kayak. So um, if you enjoy kayaking, if you have some tips and tricks for me, definitely let me know. But the biggest thing I wanna know is what are your suggestions for the name for this kayak? Um, I'm gonna run a little contest below in the comments. Leave a comment with your top name and then and the comment that gets the most thumbs up will be the name that we choose. Um, I do reserve a right to choose another one if there's some obscenities or anything like that, but you guys are awesome. I don't think anything like that's going to happen. Um, thanks for watching. Going to get out there hunting again soon, and we'll see you guys next time.